let's continue seeing why the Great Warrington Declaration is wrong. So, other causes of possible failure of the Great Warrington Declaration are that those who are exposed become infected and that they will later infect their protective relatives within their own homes. Furthermore, we don't know the duration of immunity or its effectiveness. We think that those who expose themselves without face masks on the street are not very likely to wear face masks in their own homes or to maintain the appropriate distance, etc., so as to not infect their high-risk relatives. The argument from the Great Warrington Declaration that herd immunity will eventually be achieved is fallacious. Herd immunity for influence, HIV, syphilis, malaria, herpes, tuberculosis, and amoebiasis has not been achieved. So here what we are saying about the Great Warrington Declaration is that if we have uh, a person, a young person with low risk of, of mortality from the COVID-19, this, this person probably is not wearing the mask, is not wearing the mask when he's working, when he's in the street. And if it is not wearing the mask when it's in the street, probably also is not going to wear them. He's not going to wear them when being in his house with the high risk relative, like his his parents or something like that. So if it doesn't wear, if it if it does not wear the mask when he's working in the street, probably is not going to to wear it when he's with, in his home with his high-risk high risk relatives. So if we are exposing or if we are letting or allowing that the people, young people, that want to go outside, don't use masks and all that, if we allow this, then we are making that these people that want to go out infect their high-risk relatives. Because if they don't mask, if they do not use masks here, probably are not going to use them here. Probably are not going to take the appropriate distance. If when they meet with someone in the street, they don't take the appropriate distance, probably they are not going to do it here with their high risk relatives. So this this is in part why Great Barreto Declaration is would be wrong. Let's continue. So. In spite of the fact that the Great Warrington Declaration has a clear shortcoming due to the possibility of intrafamiliar contagious to frail people from the infected ones, with the argument of protecting the elderly, many old persons will be displaced to nursing homes. It is highly unlikely that working young, adult, economic and productive population will decide to live in the cellar to avoid transmitting the infection of the grand, to the grandparents. So what this means is, let's say we have Let's say we have a person, a young, young person, um, is outside, is working, is not wearing the mask, and let's say that it gets infected. And in his house, he has a high-risk relative, like let's say his parent or something like that, high-risk relative. So if this is infected, what should this person do, given that in his house is a high-risk relative? Something that this person could do is go to his teller and do everything that they need to do in the cellar, in the cellar. But probably this person is not going to like to go to the cellar and is not going to do anything to protect his high risk relative parents in this case. So what they are going to do is to send to a high relative parent to a nursing home, nursing home. And the argument that this person is going to give in order to send his parents to a nursing home is that in that way, they are protecting to a high-risk relative. But that is fallacious because that is not the true reason, because this person could go to a cellar or could do other things. Principal, the principal way in order to not, um, to not take the risk of infecting the high-relative rel parents was not to get exposed, like wearing the mask, like taking the appropriate distance. Appropriate distance. But so, if we um, allow the Barrington Declaration, or what it is proposed by the Great Barrington Declaration, what's going to happen is, one, people that are young, productive, economically, if they don't use the mask, don't take the appropriate distance outside, probably they are not going to do them in their homes. So they're going to infect to, the, to their high risk relatives. And in the, with the argument of protecting 
to the high risk relatives, they are going to send the high relatives, the high risk relatives to the nursing homes with the argument of protecting them. But that is not the argument. The argument is because that is easier than to go to the cellar and all that, because obviously this person is not going to want to go to the cellar. So, in part, that is why Grace Barrington Declaration is not, is not truth or is not convenient for no one, and the use is exposing more to the high relatives, high risk relatives. So, that is fallacious. Even though, if this is implemented, our proposal, proposal would lessen the severity of this tragic declaration. Uh, I think that I'm going to leave the next for the next video because now we're going to, to talk about the genetic and talk about the virus. See you in the next video.